Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? For those of y'all who've been here before, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. And for those of y'all who have no idea who I am, well, allow me to introduce myself. For this, I says me, Cisco Soldier, aka Uncle Trey. Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate y'all coming. Thank you for coming back too. Hey, come on in. Hey, come on inside, guys. Hey, wipe your take your shoes off at the door, though, please. Okay. Hey, um, hey, I appreciate you guys. Go ahead and hit that like button. Help out your uncle one time. All right, so we go ahead and get started. Hey, look, for those of y'all who are new to WGU, right, for those new people, okay, I'm just going to take you and I'm just going to show you around, like, the student portal page for a second, okay? All right, just to give you a brief overview of what's going on before you start your classes, right? And if you've already started, hey, you're more than welcome to stick around, I'm just saying, but, you know, this is for the people who have not started yet, right, so you can kind of see what's going on. All right, so when you first log into your student page, all right, it'll bring you to the home tab, right? So as you come over here to the home tab, you'll have your mentor's contact information under here in case you ever need to get a hold of your mentor, all right? Um, so then you have, like, you always see, like, your term progress, so you'll see how many days you left. So as of right now, just in my case, and I'll show you guys in the next, class, uh, next tab, I only have two more classes left, okay? So... It wouldn't, you know, I always have a conversation with my mentor, right? Like, hey, what do you think? And then we both come to the decision like, hey, it probably wouldn't be smart to go ahead and hop into uh, that class right now. Just go ahead and wait, you know. So what I'm doing is I have like a month left in my term. So I'm just going to wait and then start my next class because my next class is actually uh, the CCNA, right? So I don't believe I can finish that in like 30 days, right? Even though I've been studying since like January, I still want to, you know what I'm saying? Keep, I just still want to like take my time and, you know, do what I'm supposed to do. So it's all good. All right. So you have your course progress and then you have how many uh, competency units that you've knocked out already. Okay. And then you have your program progress. So then it tells you like, hey, this is when you're projected to graduate. So it says right here, you pro you're projected to graduate around September of 2021, but I plan on being done within like 45 more days. All right. And then, uh, yeah, they got the little news stuff goes on, man. I never pay attention to that. All right. And then it tells you like, so what happens is, right, you'll see your course right here. So when you knock it out like so when you open it and you enroll in the course which i'll show you guys here in a second all right it'll be like it'll be white right here so like let's say if you ever take a test and you fail it then this little bubble will be red right but then if you go through and do what you're supposed to do and pass it then eventually it'll turn green okay but you want to see the green bubbles that's what you want to see okay all right, so as of right now, like, so as of this term, okay, I've completed 17 uh, competency units with zero remaining, all right? So if you go to the courses tab, you know, it'll just tell you, like, the courses that you have within this actual term or your term progress, okay? All right, so now let's go to the degree plan tab. All right. So as we go to the degree plan, OK, like so this just tells you like, OK, yes. Hey, my name is Trey. I'm in the Bachelor of Science and Network Operations Security. All right. And then my plan graduation date is X, Y and Z. All right. Um, then right here, it tells you like, hey, this is a breakdown of how many competency units you have like per term. OK, so here's where you can see. So, you know, I like to go in here for motivation. Right. To see like okay hey you know it's been a long road so like these is kind of like what i transferred in i started uh in january of 2020 so you know going bouncing around from military from base to base you know i kind of took classes here and there so i actually transferred in like an associate's degree worth of stuff and i believe yeah i had like um i had security plus already um i already had network plus and i already had like ic and d1 so i had like three certifications before i actually uh start taking classes but you know i already knocked out like english you know uh comp like geography and intro to communications and humanities and stuff like that uh organizational behavior and leadership you know by being in the military and going to my military schools you know you already get that leadership credit i think this was icnd1 that i transferred in i think this was network plus or something like that right? i didn't transfer in biology so all these classes was like already transferred in so i started off with this and then so my first term started right from january uh 2020 to june 2020 all right so what happened was like hey i went ahead uh and started with the first class intro to it and then you know that took a couple of days i think it took like 
two days and I went ahead and passed that. So these are like all the classes that I completed, you know, within that six month, that term. And they ended up being a total of like 31 uh, competency units, right? So then, like I say, I had to take a four month break because, um, you know, I'm in the military. I had to move from North Carolina down to Georgia. So I had to take a four month break, right? So um, that's four months that I lost, but A, it was actually good because I had to get, you know, set up with my new job and it's, my new job is very intensive. So whatever but so just to put into context right so from june till october 1st i didn't do anything right so here you go so now uh starting october 1st you know took uh started back with web development uh foundations right and then you know uh took that class and then taking these classes so about a class a month you know, full-time job, man. Hey, what can I say? So I actually only have two classes left, which would be the CCNA and the Capstone Project, and I'll be done. So like I said, they they telling me like, hey, Trey, you'll be done in September. I'm like, yeah, yeah all right, you know, I'll be done way before that, right? All right, so yeah, you got that now. When you come to the, the Success Centers tab, right, this is just like different resources. Like if you, most uh, colleges online, colleges that you go to, or even brick and mortars, they have like an online website or whatever the case, just uh, for you to have access to the resources that the uh, university or college provides, right? So here they have a writing center to help you with writing papers and stuff. They have a library, you know, uh, the Student Success Center. You know, they have like different little um, things that can help you out. So these is like little uh, resources and stuff that you have access to, um, you know, things that can that can help you out. Um the well connect uh the math center to help you out with the math and then the learning guide this right here is very important uh the student support this is the student support center right so this right here i think is like very very important because i've had to use this a couple times this is how you access like your financial services so when you want to file like if you're doing any type of uh fast for financial aid uh, for the military, tuition assistance, any type of Stafford loan, any, any, any type of financial stuff, right? You'll go to the financial tab. Let me see if I can come over here without uh, showing too much of my business, man. I don't want to show my business, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, but <laughs> like, you know, like I said, you'll come over here and um, fill out all your stuff. You get your account statements and all that stuff. And then they tell you, hey, whether or not you're in good standing or if you got to do anything and if you need to make any payments or whatever the case, you know. It's just like any other school that you go to. Uh, then you have like the military support. Like if you're having problems getting your TA from here to here, your TA being tuition assistance. We don't want to throw a lot of uh, jargon and acronyms out there. But if you're having problems getting your money and stuff like that, then that's just a way for you to go out there and get it. It's, it's not really that bad. And then they have like um, the student life tab, right? So with the student life, um, this is just kind of different resources you can get to. You can refer a friend, get some benefits and stuff like that. Uh, you can try to apply for the night, the fellow night owl scholarship. Um, you know, it talks about the WGU, uh, orientation. And then after you graduate, you know, you can apply to be a part of the WGU online community. Okay. So, uh, the alumni community, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I mean, like I say, this is just a lot of stuff. Um, you know, a lot of different resources. They have the student handbooks. They talk about the rules. And like once you once your tuition is paid and everything like that, one of the biggest benefits that you can go to is like you can actually you have you, because you are a student at a WGU, you know, you get there are some services that you can get for free, right? Like you can get Microsoft Office, uh, the Microsoft Office suite absolutely for free. So you can do your homework and stuff like that, right? So you have you have uh, access to Outlook, you have access, well, you don't need Outlook, but you have access to like Microsoft Excel, and then PowerPoint and Word, things like that, like the Microsoft suite that can help you Okay, guys, lastly is the contact page, okay? Uh, you might end up using this page a lot, um, you know, like if you need to go on a term break. Like I told you guys earlier, I had to go on a four-month term break because of military. I was moving. You had to reach out to these individuals right here, all right, uh, for your enrollment, uh, your orientation. You have to reach out to these folks. Um, one thing that's on here that I don't see that you're going to have to reach out to a lot, right, it's like if you take third-party assessments, like if you end up taking a class, like let's say you take CompTIA Security Plus, you're going to have to reach out to like a, a website, not a website, but an email address, and it's going to be it's going to be like scores at WGU 
or something like that. Um, I put the link. I'll, I'll put the link up here. But like sometimes, like you might send them and they might not update it for a couple of days. I've only had that experience one time, to be honest, and that's because I took a exam during the Christmas holiday. So of course they wasn't working. I've seen a lot of people complain, a lot of horror stories, like oh the scores is not doing. This. I'm like man, I've taken like nine, ten certifications, man, and they up, they normally upload my stuff like th that day or the next day. Normally what I do, and I'm just going to give you Uncle Trey's tips, like Trey's tips, right? Let me tell you what I do. Normally I upload my certificate and then I call like, hey, you, you see that certificate, right? You see that? Yeah, me, yeah. It's Trey, holler at your uncle one time. They upload it for me, you know what I'm saying? They normally take care of, they normally take care of me, you know what I mean? Because I'm Trey, you know, so they take care of me. All right, man. So I think that's all I got for y'all. I appreciate y'all listening. Okay, I appreciate y'all stopping by. All right, uh, don't forget your shoes on the way out. All right, it was I says me, Cisco Soldier, a.k.a. Uncle Trey. Holla at you. All right, peace.